Hey, welcome to my studio. Today I want to show you how to put together this grab and go mini balloon garland I made from a balloon kit I got off Amazon. If you're looking for a quick and inexpensive way to have a big impact, you can pick up one of these kits and put together this garland. In addition to the balloon kit, you'll need a couple of other tools. First, I've got a hand pump to inflate the small balloons and my electric balloon inflator to inflate the larger balloons. I've also got a pair of scissors as well as a handful of white 260 balloons to tie all of my balloons together. If you don't have 260 balloons handy, you can always tie the balloons using fishing line or curling ribbon. Finally, I'll be hanging my balloon garland up on the wall, and to do that, I'll be using command hooks. Now, command hooks come in a lot of different sizes and weight capacities. You've got this large white one, which you could use, but for today's project, I'll be using these half pound little hooks, which will be more than enough to support our balloon garland. So stick around to the end, and I'll show you how to hang a garland on a wall. My balloon kit included five different colors of balloons, and I'm going to inflate eight of each of those 10 inch balloon colors anywhere between seven and nine inches in diameter. And this is all organic, so go ahead and inflate it and then let a little bit of air out, press it so it's nice and round before tying it off. Now I'm going to repeat this with all my different colors, so I've got eight balloons in each color. Then I'm going to take two balloons of the same color and tie them together into a pair by wrapping the nozzle around twice and tying it together in a simple knot. Repeat this with all the 10 inch balloons so you've got a bunch of pairs all of the same color. From those, we're going to create clusters using four pairs. So take two pairs and overlap them so that the nozzles touch right in the middle and then twist one balloon from each pair around each other and that will lock them together. To this, I'm going to slide in another pair so that the nozzle of that new pair is touching the nozzles of the cluster. And then the two balloons of that new pair, I'm going to wrap them all the way around and twist them around each other. I'm going to do this one final time with the fourth pair, sliding it in so that the nozzles are all touching in the middle, and then wrapping those balloons all the way around the cluster until I can twist the two new balloons around each other. By twisting the pairs together in this manner, we can ensure that all the nozzles create one large knot right in the center, and I won't accidentally lose a pair out of this cluster while I'm trying to hang it. So go ahead and repeat this with all five colors so you've got five clusters just like this. Next, we can inflate eight tiny balloons of each color to four pumps of air or four and a half inches in diameter before tying those off. Once I've got all the tiny balloons inflated, I'm going to tie them all into pairs of the same color. Just like we did before, wrap the nozzle around twice and tie them in a simple knot. Then I'm going to put these together into quads. So take two pairs, overlap them, and twist them around each other. So you should have two quads of each color. Now we need to join these quads together so we can add them to our garland. And I'm going to be using a scrap bit of 260 balloon to do that. So I'm just going to take a regular balloon, cut it in half, because we only need about this long to tie the two together. So I'm going to take one quad and tie it to each end of this half piece of 260 balloon. And you can either wrap the tail around one of the balloons and tie it in a double knot, or you can take the tail end of that 260 and stretch it tight and wrap it around two balloons in a figure eight pattern a couple times and that will also secure it together so no matter the method repeat this step with each color of quads so we've got five of these ready to add to our garland later finally we need to inflate our 18 inch balloons and I'm gonna fill it until it's almost max capacity and then I'm gonna slowly let a little bit of air out and press down on it so it's a nice round shape I'll then tie it off and repeat this with my other 18 inches so that they're ready to accentuate our garland now let's assemble the body of our garland. So I'm going to take an empty 260 and tie the end of this to one of the nozzles in my first cluster. This one 260 will be long enough to tie all of them together. The important thing though is to make sure that we stretch that 260 nice and tight when we join it to the next cluster. So take your second cluster and nestle it right up against the first one, stretch that 260 nice and tight, lay it down across the second cluster so it's touching the nozzles, and then wrap it in a figure eight pattern around two balloons of the new cluster. So it should look something like this on the inside. That 260 should always be touching the nozzles of each cluster and that way it'll hang nice and straight. I'll attach the rest of my clusters in the exact same way, stretching it tight and wrapping in a figure eight pattern. For this garland, I opted to use a color blocked color scheme. And what that means is I've got large sections of balloons that are all the same color next to each other instead of mixing it up. I think this makes the rainbow color scheme really pop because your eye has a chance to land on large sections of balloons all together. And as we add in the different sizes of balloons, you'll be able to fully appreciate the different textures and sizes in each of those colors. 
Once you get to the end of your balloon garland, take the tail of that 260 and wrap it in a figure eight pattern around two balloons at the very end and then just let it go and it'll disappear inside the balloon garland. Next, we need to prepare the wall to receive our balloon garland. So I've got the half pound command hook and I've already attached the adhesive to the back side of that. And I'm gonna remove the backing for the wall side. Now I wanna make sure I place this low enough from the ceiling so that there's enough room for my balloon garland to hang up high, but not rub against the ceiling. To that hook, I'm going to tie an empty 260 balloon by placing the very center of that 260 over the hook, stretching it tight and wrapping it around a couple times, just so it won't accidentally pop off that hook. Then I'm going to take the two ends of that 260 and tie them together, so I end up with a really stretchy loop attached to my hook. And this loop is how we'll secure the balloon garland to the wall. For my six foot garland, I've attached two of these command hooks with the 260 balloons. I'm just going to hold the balloon garland up in front of these hooks about where I want it and then see where a balloon is sitting right in front of those hooks and stretch the loop up over that balloon, making sure the loop is touching the nozzles of the cluster and not over the body of the balloon. I love this attachment method because I can still rotate my balloons around and arrange them how I want without having to worry about this coming off the wall. Now we can add in our 18 inch balloons to the garland and to each of my 18 inch balloons I've tied half of a 260 balloon to its nozzle and I'll stretch that 260 out around a couple of balloons in the garland and wrap them around a figure eight pattern to secure my 18 inch balloon into that garland. I'm going to generally place all my 18 inch balloons in the spot I think I want them to be, but that won't necessarily be their final resting place when we're done. I wanna make sure I get all the balloons attached to the garland first, and then I can go in and rearrange them to make it look exactly how I want. So once I've got all five of the 18 inch balloons attached, I'm then gonna go in with the mini 260 clusters we made earlier. To attach these clusters, I place one of the quads where I think I want it to be on the garland, and then I stretch the 260 underneath some of those 10 inch balloons and place the second cluster about where I want. The important thing is just to hide the 260 that's tying the two of them together. Once I've got all the little clusters placed on the balloon garland, I like to take a step back and look at the overall shape and design of the garland. And this is the great thing about tying all of our balloons together and not using adhesives, because I can rotate around all of the clusters, the big balloons, the tiny balloons, and even change the overall shape of the garland just by simply moving a balloon or two around. When you're making a balloon garland, always take that step back. And if you don't love it at first glance, feel free to move them around. No balloon is stuck in place and keep playing with it until you're happy with the overall appearance. I hung this balloon garland up for two weeks and it still looks fabulous. If you enjoyed today's project, you should check out this video next. And remember, until the next time I see you, stay creative, everybody. Bye.